Ethan, so uh, first things first, how you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? Good, man. Um, Aurora Greenman, I got to talk to uh, Coach Papish a couple nights ago, and uh, I was talking to him about how you fell into his lap. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're you're going to the Naval Academy. You're in a state a state place here in Ohio, and um, you moved. You know, it's like they've had guys move in there. You know, yeah. who moved? You moved because why did you guys move from Lima? So Lima, so we we wanted a better like opportunity. Like Aurora is a much better school district, and just like getting a, getting out of Lima to a better place. Like my dad has a better job. Okay, so you moved because your dad's job. Yeah. Okay, so I was telling him, I was telling uh. You know, Coach Papish, I said, there's two things in Lima. I think there's a tank factory and a BP plant. Yeah. That's about it, right? There's not a whole much, bunch of other stuff going on, is there? No, not really. There's not much over there. Yeah, and I'm from northwest Ohio. I'm from the Oak Harbor area. But Oak Harbor is yeah. on the lake. Mm -hmm. They got the you know the Lake Erie Islands. They're not far from Cedar yeah. Point. So it's four months out of the year, it's not bad there. Yeah. There's not a lot going on 12 months out of the year in Lima, Ohio. No, there's nothing there. There's not much going on, but and, and it's kind of like it's flat. There's not, it's just not a lot to do. No, not really. You had to drive like 45 minutes if you want to go anywhere. Like Fort Wayne was the closest city. Fort Wayne's the closest city to to Lima. I didn't realize that. Yeah, it's 45 minutes to Fort Wayne, like hour and a half to Dayton and Toledo. And how far to Columbus? Two. Two. Jesus, Pete's man. Wow, so so uh, kind of a no-brainer for you guys to to make that jump, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So when you look at it, um, you were a state placer last year. I actually did the fifth place match in Division Two last year. There's yeah. nine placing matches going on, and we do all nine of them. Mm -hmm. And I took fifth as a senior, so I'm I'm yeah. like, you know what, man, I'll do the fifth place matches. You know, because because everybody wants to do the third place match in Division One. Everybody wants to do the third place match in Division Two because. That's usually yeah. where the, the better guys, the you know, the guys who maybe don't win a state title or make it. That's usually mm -hmm. where they're going. Um, so you got you got six last year, right? Yep. Who'd you wrestle? The Streets Bro guy. Yeah, Carrie. Yeah, did he hit you with something crazy last year? I, I can't remember. You were wearing a Barbarian Apparel singlet. I know that. Yeah, right, right off the whistle, he caught me sleeping. He went up like four points, like right off the whistle, and then I think the final score was like five two or something. Yeah, and um, when you wrestle those, those are five minute matches. Yeah. So if you get take you get the first takedown on you, it's really hard to manage yeah, the match I, and come back. Yeah, I ended the first period four zero, huge hole. Yeah, and he's not bad. No, he's very, pretty solid wrestler. He's at, he was actually at my sectional. Oh, okay. Um. So, okay. So this year, how did you end up? You guys had a um. You didn't have. I think Lake Catholic had a really good district tournament. They kind of surprised everybody in your district, didn't they? You guys yeah. had a really good district tournament. But you left some guys home that you probably thought you were going to get to Columbus, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. We, I mean, we were expecting at least seven out. We wanted nine, and then we ended up getting seven out. Yeah, and then were there six finalists? Yes, five champs, five sophomore champs, right? Uh, four. Four. One so was Dave was a senior. Okay, so um, and then you were were you runner up? Yep runner up and then um you actually beat the guy the week before didn't you layman yeah i beat him i beat him 13 to 2 and then i yeah i didn't perform i no excuses didn't just end up losing 3-2 in the finals oh, he beat you 3-2 after you beat him 13 to 2 in a week wrestling's a crazy sport isn't it ethan it is it's a really crazy sport um when you look at, you know, you guys had a lot of momentum going into the tournament. First things first, where were you guys um, when you found out that the, the postponement to start? Where were you in that, where, when you found that out? And then everyone, it was about seventh period. And I got a text message from my dad. Like, hey, they just can't, they just postponed basketball. Wrestling's probably next. Jeez, oh, Pete. And yeah. Did you just know that? I, I'm, well... Uh, leading up to the week when they can't, I was a little worried, but I still felt pretty confident they're going to have it. Up until the point where they postponed the NBA season, the night before they postponed the state tournament, I started feeling really like 
uneasy about it. Yeah, and then you know when they do the NBA, man. When yeah, they do the, the NBA, NBA. You know it. It's like, and then they postpone the major league, and it's just like, yeah, you know the the dominoes have you know kept falling, and it it's kind of wild. You know what I mean? And, and you know, like a, a guy like you, you're going to the Naval Academy. You're probably yeah. one of the top guys in your class. You know, I mean, you're you're smarter than the average kid. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Would you Would you say that that's something accurate? Yeah. Yeah. So you knew, you knew, and then obviously last week you got the cancellation notice just under a week ago. Um, what's the first thing Pappish said to you, the coaching staff at Aurora? What they say to you, Ethan? Uh, well, they went, they wrote us all passes and got us all out of class, and we we all went up to the wrestling room to talk about it. I mean, there there wasn't he's like uh, they canceled the tournament. There's, I mean, it's gonna hurt. There's not, there's, there's just not much we can say else. I can say I can't believe it. Yeah, I mean, there's no, nothing you can really say in that moment make it feel much better. You know, and you guys had so much momentum going to the state tournament. You know, you got a bunch of sophomores who won. Um, what side of the bracket were you on in your half bracket? Who was in your half bracket? I would have had Daniels in the quarters and then Leonard in the semis, probably Leonard or Leonard or Talbert. That was your. You had a really tough half bracket. Yeah, and then. Uh, I already talked to Ethan Hernandez. He's a uh, the guy that he's going to Penn. Yeah, he was in the top half of the bracket then, right? Yeah, it was uh, Hernandez and uh, Layman on the top half. Okay, so man, Hernandez is slick too, man. If you haven't seen him, he's he's really tough. Yeah, I've been I've wrestled him since I was in like sixth grade, actually. Oh, really? All the OEC yeah. stuff, probably. What OEC things? OEC tournaments? Uh, no, just like because he's from Norwalk, we would hit at open tournaments like. I didn't get really into wrestling until about eighth grade, but my brother always wrestled, so I would go do open tournaments after basketball season. And oh, yeah, he would. Wait, be, he, you, played, wait like stop. you played basketball? Yeah, I played basketball until eighth grade, until seventh grade. So you're like fresh. You're like you haven't been doing this forever. No, I started. I started to wrestling um, as a main sport in uh, eighth grade. Oh my god! <laughs> and you're you were on track to be a two time state placer. In Ohio. That's not bad, Ethan. That's not bad at all. Um, when you look at, okay, so Aurora, you guys, how did you do at, uh, you went to Shawnee, right? Over by Lyman. Mm-hmm. How did you do there? Uh, <clears throat> I had a pretty good sophomore season up until the end. Like I beat a st- couple state qualifier. I beat a couple state qualifiers like throughout the season. And then come to the district tournament, what, I was a little sick. And I uh, didn't end up ma- placing in the district because my sophomore year. So you didn't qualify as a sophomore? In a, no, no, no qualification really bad as a wrestling. sophomore. Okay. So, and you'd only been wrestling two yeah, years at that year. point. Yeah. How'd you do as a freshman? I, I You broke up. How'd you do as a freshman? Not good. I didn't make it out of districts. Did you, or sectionals. Did you, didn't make it out of sectionals. Did you have a winning record? Yes. I was 18 and 14. You were 18 and 14 as a freshman. Then what? What was your record as a sophomore? Forty-four and like seven. Forty-four and seven, and then junior year last year when you took six in the state, where were you? Like forty-two and fifteen. We did a we did a pretty easy schedule my freshman sophomore year compared to oh yeah they were this schedule. schedule he this guy's a maniac over here. He takes you guys to yeah. Ironman. He takes you guys to the Braxville. Braxville. He takes you to the GIT, and then there's your league with Braxville and Wadsworth yeah. in it, and. Uh, and uh, Highland, yeah, he's a maniac. I was like, dude, you guys don't avoid anyone. No, we all about uh, getting them, getting as many quality matches as you can before state. What is that like changing from the Shawnee schedule to the Aurora schedule? I actually love it, like because it it forces you to stay sharp. If you wrestle too easy of a schedule where you're pinning kids week in week out. Like it's kind of what happened my sophomore year. I was going on like twenty match wins. I was going having like twenty matches where I pinned the kid and before I was getting wrestling good competition. So it, it leads you to be sloppy. Where you go Ironman, Brexville, Top Gun, right to the GIT. You gotta stay sharp. Yeah, I mean, there's just and, nowhere to hide in your schedule. No, I think I think losing in wrestling is the best thing that can happen to you too. Why? Refocuses you, humbles you. Com- focuses and humbles you, huh? Um, you know, you're, you're, 
you're going into a really unique situation that only hundreds of people that are gonna are, are gonna do what you're gonna do, man. You're you're gonna be the cream of the crop. You're going to the United States Naval Academy. This is a big deal. You know what I mean? I understand the gravity yeah. of get, just getting in is such a hard thing. Yeah. And, and, sure. and they say that, right? Like, you know, getting into the Ivies is the hard thing, right? And then once right. you get there, you know, you're already in there and, you know, you get into a routine and you're fine. Yeah. You have the most grueling four years of your life coming up and then you got to give five oh, years sure. of service. Yeah. Talk to me about preparing for that. What are you going to do for four years? You have to take a core. You have to take all the cores. Do you know that? You cannot take, like, there's not a, a semester you take off. Like, yeah. I, I went to yeah. Kent State and I never took a math class. They let me Come substitute yeah. a foreign language for a math. You will not be oh, able yeah. to do that. There's nowhere to hide at the Naval Academy. If you no, miss you're... a class, only way you can miss a class is if you're sick, dead, or someone in your family's dead. Did you know that? Yeah. Yep. It's, yeah, you, you don't understand. You're at every class. class. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, I, I kind of like the discipline. It doesn't let you, don't, you don't get the option to slack. None. There's no option. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Keeps you busy. Why did, why is that the choice in the route you took? Well, I, ever since I was little, I always thought I was going to go to West Point. I ended up being Navy instead. But, um, I just like, my, uh, grandpa was a major in the army. And uh, I've always been interested in military service. And uh, I, I, when I got there, I just really liked the culture. Like, I enjoyed being, like, on my official, I really enjoyed the culture there. Okay. Um, the culture, obviously, is a huge part of it. But you were recruited by Joel Sherritt. Now, yeah. it's a very different, it's it's a cha- it's, it's going to be a completely different staff. And Kerry Colat's coming in. He's going to have Mike Evans. Yeah. Um, Blake Cabell. I need more cowbell. Beautiful mustache. That's why I grew this mustache because of him. <laughs> but um, you know, it's gonna be different. Have those guys reached out to you yet? And and you know, what what's the situation moving forward with you at Navy, Ethan? Um, so I mess uh me and Cola exchange phone numbers. And that's that's been um we haven't talked much more outside of that. But they kept the coach on who's doing most of, who did most of the recruiting stuff. Who was it? Like he came out in He's the one that handled most of my recruiting. Who is it? I, I missed you cut out. Who is it? Dan Neff. Oh, Dan Neff from Lockhaven. Yes. Okay, so Dan Neff. And um, I, we don't know if they're going to keep him on or what, or, or is he? They're keeping him on. They're going to keep Dan Neff on. Dan Neff's a stud. Yep. Dan Neff I think, knows how to win. Yeah. I think he um is teaching a class there. Like, I think they got a way for him to teach a class. Okay. Well, that's good. That yeah, that's a nice and that's that bridges the gap for them, and and it probably makes you feel a little more comfortable that you're at least going in with the guy who recruited you, right? Yeah, it's nice that because he's going to be the um, wrestlers like CEOs at uh, Plebe Summer. Okay, so when do you take off? When do you leave? Because this is like a whole. I know. Okay, what was the original time you were supposed to take off, Ethan? And have they given uh, you a new time you were supposed to take off? Well, June twenty fifth is still the, it's this has been and still is the start date. I haven't heard them change that yet. Okay. Which, when when Navy starts it, like, you start school right away. Like, you're not there early just to wrestle. Like, you, for all um, incoming freshmen, it's, you start plebe summer right away. Okay. So, you lose, don't, lose you're not going to get, six weeks and everything. you're not going to get much of a summer. This is like, we're in strange no. times. You know that, right? Obviously. Yeah. Um, Are you excited about that? Just going right into it. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready to roll. What's your ready, favorite yeah, thing about practicing? What's your favorite thing about all the discipline and all the all the regiment and everything about it? I've always been very orderly. I keep into a schedule. It helps uh, simplify things for me. Just a good way. It's the way I like to run my life. Like I, like I hate times like this where I I have just hours of free time on my hand, free time on my hands. It's hard to get anything done when there's just this much free time. What are you doing? What are the workouts now? Because I know that you're a wrestler. You're a guy going to Naval Academy. What are the three? What's, what are the things that you're doing on a daily basis? What is the regiment right now with all this? Uh, my dad's my dad's big in the lifting, so we have a weight room in our basement. So I've been I've still been keeping up with lifting, and luckily I have my brother who, pretty good wrestler too. He's a little bigger than me, but. 
we can still go downstairs and there's a wrestling mat down there at the scrap. Okay. Is your brother, did he win the district too? Yeah. So your brother's one of the four sophomore champs at Aurora. Yeah. Man, they got a, they got a monster squad back. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to be real tough next year. They're gonna, they got six of you guys back, right? There's six of those guys back, right? You and David yeah. aren't back. You and David are not back. Yep, me and David are gone. And then everybody else is back. Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's a really good team. Wow. I mean, what are your thoughts about not getting to wrestle your last state tournament? You know, you talked about the emotions of when you found out, but what what do you how do you feel about not being able to, to go out with one more shot? I mean, it's tough. Like it hurts to think about it. Uh I think it was the right thing to do, knowing what we know about the virus. But it, it, it's it's hard. Like, I really was looking forward to getting one more go at it in the Greenman singlet. A barbarian apparel green. A barbarian <laughs> apparel Greenman. You guys got a really cool one with the the, the Greenman head all yeah. over the back of it. That thing's sweet. Yeah, yeah. Where that that one was my. I like that single a lot. And then I had an I had an Adidas single that pretty much no one else had. That I liked a lot. Yeah, Aurora hooks it up, man. I mean, I'm really glad you guys were able to move over from a, a Lima to aurora and it's just it's a different world isn't it it's like different it's oh, just totally sure. different isn't it yeah very different it's just a, yeah and it, like you and i get it because we moved from northwest ohio to here but like until you yeah. come over and like kind of experience it it's hard to explain right yeah you know like um where I'm, I'm from where my mom and dad live you can see for miles down the road it's so flat you can just see for miles Oh, yeah, you get, you get all those backcountry roads it's just cornfields yeah, as far as that comes it's all it is man and then here um, I can't see a hundred yards that way, and I can't see a hundred. I can't see a hundred yards in any any direction off in the horizon. We've got beautiful rolling hills and trees yeah. everywhere, and they just don't have that there. Yeah. Um, what do you think the biggest thing that you're going to take out of this, Ethan? Is you know, like you're going in to be an officer. You know, what do you what do you what's the track you want to follow? You have the option to be a marine or join the navy. You can be yes. a marine or join the navy. Um, if you know the Blair coach, uh. Coach Brian Antonelli, he was a coach at Naval Academy and a Naval Academy yeah. grad. He went to the Marines. Mm-hmm. What do you do after the Naval Academy? After 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 Naval Academy, you got five years. You can check pick Marines. You can pick Navy. What do you pick? Yeah. What do you do? My what I want to do is be a Navy pilot. I want to uh, fly F thirty fives and F eighteens after school uh, in the Navy. You're going to know a lot more stuff. You're going to have the, the amount of clearance that you're going to have. Security clearance is going to be pretty high. You do understand that, right? Yeah. You're going to know more about situations like this right now than mm-hmm. Joe public is ever going to know. Is that something you're prepared yeah. for and excited for? Yeah, it's going to be cool. Cool to know what's really going on. And then um, your grandpa was a major in the army, right? Yep. Yeah. What types of things did they do and your, your parents do? How did they inspire you to want to go to West Point and then ultimately you end up at Annapolis? Uh, well, I'd always he he said he really he always talks about how he really enjoyed like his experience in the army. Like he was he was an officer like, right after Vietnam. I think when when he got his commission, and then uh, I've my dad always talked highly of military service and. Uh, I also enjoy history a lot and uh, the history of those, both the West Point and Annapolis are great history. Can we really afford for those places not to be the best places, not to be the best institutions on the planet? I want you to think about it. Can America, can we afford that as a country? I want you to think about that. Yeah. We can't, you no, know, yeah, we don't. have to have people like you going there. We have to have the future leaders going there. It's like, it's a no brainer, man. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, got to have the best and the brightest there it's, it is who leads our military and what makes america what america is on the global stage yeah our, our military and if you look at our navy you can take all the navies in the world and combine them and it doesn't equal our navy you know that oh no we have like three times the amount of aircraft carriers and everyone the world. Else can buy. from the world yeah. you take the world and combine them and we still have over double what they have yeah, it's like America's Navy is the second biggest Air Force in the world. <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. Uh, what do you What do you do with wrestling? Do you, you try and wrestle? You know, we talked about WCAP, World Class Athlete Program. 
Um, you can move to the Springs. Yeah. When you're done with wrestling after four years at Naval Academy, are you done with wrestling? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm done. After my four years of college, I think I'm done competitively. Like, I, I really want to be in, like, an actual officer is something I'm looking forward to. Like, that was a big sale of it. Like, I, I want to do the career path. So, like, if my, ki- if my kids get into it or something, I, of course, coach them. Like, I'm older. Yeah. But competitively, I'd say this. I'd, I'd say college is probably it. Did you know that your four years at West Point do not count in that 20 years of retirement? Did you know that? Yes. I'm sorry. I said West Point. I meant, I meant Annapolis. Those yeah, four it, years it do count. not go into that 20. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, we had a kid from Oak Harbor, Alex Bergman. Alex Bergman's a Naval Academy grad. His dad's the head coach at Oak Harbor High School. And, you yeah. know, he's obviously, I think he's three years in to his mm-hmm. five years. Because it's a five-year commitment after four, right? Uh, seven. It's a seven year commitment after four. So it's an eleven yeah. year commitment total for your whole for the whole thing, right? Yeah. You you said yeah, your the first two years you can leave with no problem. You're when you come in for your junior year, they sit you down and you sign a paper and it's called it's called get your two for seven. You get two more years of schooling and then um, you after that, after school, you go do two years of training for whatever you're gonna do. And then you got five years active. Got it. Okay. Um, when you and your brother scrap, he's bigger than you now. You're older. Can you get him? Yeah, it gets pretty intense too. How often does it end up in a fist fight? It does end up in a fist fight after last year, because where uh, I threw a punch that I regret because yeah, cut him pretty bad. So. No more fist fights. No more fist fights? At home are there fist fights? No. No fist fights at home? Nope. And does the old man outlift all of you? Does the old man lift more weights than you guys? When you go down and lift with the old man, does he outlift you? Oh, yeah, by far. Your old man's a freak, huh? Yeah. He's been in, he's, he really got into lifting like nine, ten years ago. And he's, like we, he now lifts you and your brother? Yeah. No, it's not, not close. It's crazy, man. I love it. I love hearing about wrestling families. So your brother got into it. Normally, it's the older brother who gets into it. Did the younger brother get you into it? What's your brother's name? What's his first name? Evan. So Evan. There's Evan and Ethan, right? So yep. Evan. Did Evan win uh, Wadsworth? Yes. Because you didn't make the finals of Wadsworth, did you? No, I won. You won. You both won. Yeah. Yeah, we both won. You both won GIT. Yes. That's a really tough tournament, man. Who'd you beat in the finals? Cusis. Okay, now I remember the match. Yeah, because I called the match. Yeah. Okay, so you guys both won. You know what mm-hmm. I remember? You know what I remember? You know what everybody remembers about GIT this year? What's that? The only finals match I really remember. Oh, the 220 match. 220, right? Hey, that. That's what I remember, right? I mean, yeah. I remember that I one. Talking. And oh, 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 come religious match, I remember. Yeah, when he beat Martin. Because the other the other guy took literally twenty shots, and he like tuckered himself out, and then yeah. Cumberledge scrambled him, caught him on his back, he out wrestled him. It was, but the other guy was just attacking the whole time. I remember those two matches. How how bad did you beat Cusis? I can't remember. Nine what, three. I was gonna say it wasn't close, right? What it wasn't close? No, I, I think I took it. I think I took him down four times and then escaped once. Yeah, it wasn't close. And then how bad did your brother win? Panda kid. Panda, yeah. So, you guys weren't playing. The Anderson brothers weren't playing. <laughs> That's a tough tournament, man. I like yeah, that tournament. It's, it's a one day, too. That's the best thing about it. It's a one day. You don't have to come back. It's one way in. Yeah, nice and easy. Yeah, so I like nice. promoting that tournament and doing that tournament. Um, Moving forward, what was the your favorite thing about Lima? What was your favorite thing about Aurora? And what's your favorite thing about leaving Ohio? Uh... My favorite thing about Lima was that's hard. That's hard. Come on, you gotta have something. I mean, I enjoyed my time in Lima. Like, I enjoyed the friends I met there and the teachers that I had in school. It's small. It's yeah, it was small. It's small. There's so just, you, yeah. you knew everybody. You know everybody. Everybody, everybody knows everybody. your business. That's what I don't miss about small town. 
Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't really miss that at all. Because now in Aurora, a lot of people probably don't even know who you are. Yeah, I, I, I could name probably 80% of my school. Yeah, I, 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 end up. I like that. I like that about where, you know, being not in a small town anymore. Yeah. The thing I'll miss most about Aurora for sure is uh, made a lot of good friendships and relationships being here. I have a great relationship with my coach, Aaron Grossman, uh, my coach, Johnny, obviously. Yeah, we got some other coaches come in and help, like Ben Jordan, actually. I did a lot of all-season training with Ben Jordan and uh, Ryan Lang, who were all Americans. Ryan Lang, Ryan Lang, like Ryan Lang, the Purdue ones. Oh, Purdue Ryan Lang. Yep. That big, strong dude, man. He's just a, he's a big time champ. Yeah. Yeah, bit, bit like an ox. Yeah, he's still a freak. Yeah. Yeah, he'd have me get up at six a.m. and he'd go beat me up. <laughs> Ryan Lang's not a joke. You better no. bring your A game every day when Ryan Lang's when you're strapped up against that boiler maker. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Grossman. Uh, runs wrestlers in business and owns a couple businesses, doesn't he? Yes. And then um, your team seems pretty tight, man. You got a tight team, right? You broke up for a little bit. You got a tight yeah. team. Is your team pretty tight? Yeah, we're tight. Uh, we had a, we had a pretty good relationship among the kids this year. Like there weren't any real fights. That's good. That's, well, sometimes fights are good, though. Sometimes, unless you hurt your brother. <laughs> well, there, there were scraps in the room where it got real intense, but there's no, like... No drama outside? outside. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I mean, I mean, you're obviously going to a place where that's probably not going to be a real issue for, for you guys yeah. with drama outside. Um, all right, Ethan. What's your favorite thing about... Uh, this time with your family, you know what I mean? Like we've got all this time with our family. You got a brother. Is it just you and your brother? Yeah. Or is there more of you? Uh, there's one more brother. How old is he? Uh, 12. 12. A wrestler or basketball player? He plays basketball right now, but. I... He can go the Ethan route, can he? I think so. That's I think cool, that's man. There's you. nothing wrong with that. Listen, you're actually in a better, better shape than a lot of these kids who, have done so much youth wrestling, they're like almost sick of it. You know what I mean? Kind of wild to think, right? Mm-hmm. So, all right, Ethan, you got anything else for me? Yeah. No, off the top of my head, no. No, off the top of your head? No shout-outs to anybody or anything? I. You broke up. I couldn't hear you. You're right. Shout partners, Evan, Dylan. All right. I just lost you for 30 seconds. Give me those shout outs one more time. Uh, my coach is uh, Grossman, Papish, and you still there, Ethan? I'm trying to see if that helps. Are you getting some uh, phone calls or something? Yes. Yeah. You getting phone calls? All right. One more time. Give me your no, shout out. I, I just tried. Uh, I'm searching the LTE to see if that. Okay. Right, my drill partners uh Ty, Dylan, Evan, David, and obviously my coaches with Pat, uh, Grossman, Lang, and Jordan. Well, man, I'm excited to hear and follow your career at Naval Academy, man. I, it's been a pleasure talking to you. I've never, never even met you before. I called some of your matches and uh, you good talking to you. You got anything? Got any airing of grievances? Did I not like uh, give Aurora enough credit? I don't like the Andersons enough. Any of that? I suck at what <laughs> I do. Any? You want to give me any, any airing of the grievances? You can do it. I don't care. I have no grievances. I, I, I enjoy it. You can make. You, you, I enjoy you, listening to your comments. Oh, that's all right. You don't have to. You know, you can. You can. What do you think of the mustache? My wife hates it. I like the mustache. Yeah, I think that's one of the only facial hairs you'll be able to grow here in about the next like nine years of your life. So, eleven yeah. years of your life. So, so maybe you should should learn to love it. All right. Um, yeah. All right, man. Thank you for everything. It's been awesome watching you and your brother. I got your brother two more years. Hopefully, yep. we're back on the mat soon. Oh, any freestyle or Greco for you? No, uh, probably not. I mean, I can't imagine.
they're going to even open up tournaments by the time I leave. Okay. Yeah. So, well, good, man. I'm sorry your career, you know, everybody's senior year ended the way it did, but it's, it's been awesome yeah. watching the, the Anderson brothers and, uh, I appreciate your time, man. Stick around after the call and we'll talk real quick. All right. All right. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, buddy.